Hey, this is a tip on how to get Apple Macintosh emulation working in MAME. So I'm going to be emulating a Macintosh Quadra 800 and I'm going to be running Mac OS 7.5.5. Now there are quite a few various Macintosh models that currently work and the Quadra 800 is probably the faster one of the sort of choice of Macs that are available. Um, it probably helps if you have an understanding of macOS before you start this because um, some of these files and formats are a bit more easy to understand that way. So first thing we're going to need is the Macintosh, um, uh, sorry, MAME itself. <laughs> and then we're going to need, so I've already downloaded that. Then we're going to need um, a CHD file of system 7.5.5 and that's already here. I'll put all these links in the video description so you can get those files. Um, and I'll go into a bit more detail with the files on Macintosh Garden later in the video. But um, most of the files that are available, either your own files or um, not necessarily actually, but stuff it or dot sit is a very common format for uh, Macintosh uh, computers to use, especially on Macintosh Garden. So if you have some old software or something like that, it probably will be here on this site, but you'll need to expand it with stuff it expander. And MAME supports certain disk images, but I've already tested this file here, this .dsk version. So this is the file to get if you need to expand something with Stuff It. There are plenty of other formats here, which I'll cover a bit later in the video. And the other thing that we'll need, uh, you might not necessarily need, but you probably will, <laughs> uh, is a program to create an ISO image. Now I'm using ImageBurn because I've used it for years. It's very old. As you can see, it's released in 2013. So if you want to use your own software, that's fine. If you're on Linux, um, I think Bracero lets you create ISO images. And I think there is another tool as well. I'll put links in the video description, show you how you can do that. So what you should have had, or what you should have downloaded is the main installer there, which I've expanded and put on my desktop. I've also downloaded ImageBurn and I've installed that. And this is the CHD file for um, Mac OS 7.5.5. The rest of the files I'll talk about a bit later on. So this is the main folder that's there. In this folder, I've created a folder called SL, short for software list. Inside that folder, I've created a folder called Mac underscore HDD. And inside that, I've copied the contents of this zip archive. So I'll just expand that so you can see, which is this uh, folder here containing the chd file which as you can see i've already copied so i'm just going to delete that from here to avoid confusion um, the other thing you're going to need and i'm assuming you're familiar with mame um, but if you're not this there's another whole video to explain this but you're going to need at, at the very least these two roms this one is the macos um, bios if you like or system rom and this i think is hardware for a modem I think these may be um, open source, if you like, or not open source, but um, there's no copyright attached to them. So it's probably fine to get them anyway. But I don't know that for sure, so I can't really show you how to get those files. So you'll need these two files before you can carry on. So I'm going to open up MAME and we'll have a look at something that needs to be done first. So we're going to go down to general settings. I'm going to press enter to go into that. I'm going to use the keyboard now so i'm going to go to configure folders i'm going to go to roms up the top here and i'm going to go to add folder there and then i'm i'm going to navigate to where i created the sl folder now i've already done this a few times so i might as well do it one more time so i'm going to add the folder and it was on my i put uh, mame on my desktop so i'm navigating to my desktop uh, just to show you there, so I went to my root drive, the users folder, my user folder name, and now I'm looking for the desktop folder and main. Okay, so in here I created the SL folder, so I'm going to navigate inside of that, and now I'm going to press tab to add it. As you can see, I've already got a whole load there. I could remove some of them. Let's take some of these out. It doesn't really matter if you've got more than one, but I'll just tidying it up okay so as long as you have that additional folder uh, referenced um, everything will work now I've created that SL folder because 
you can you can put those files in the roms folder of main but if you use a tool like clear main pro to filter out your roms it's going to remove all your sl roms so it's better to have it in a separate location so anyway i'm going to return i'm just going to go down to return to previous menu return again and i'm just going to go down to save the settings okay i can escape out of this now main's going to restart and I've already searched for that there, but I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to search for, uh, sorry, Quadra 800. And in the list here, you can see it's there. So this is a software list uh, ROM. So as I enter it, it then shows me the software that works with that ROM. It's kind of like a subcategory of MAME, if you like. And we installed the CHD file or the hard drive image for Mac OS 755. So I'm going to type 755. And we're going to go down to system software 755 and we're going to pick um, version the current bios there or the newest bios so macosh oh no skip through this it says there are some issues with sound but so far i've found it's fine so i'm going to so our mac is booting now while the mac is booting our keyboard and mouse is now part of the virtual machine or it's part of main so your keyboard won't function like it did before to get your full control back press scroll lock on the keyboard and now we've got our ui control so now i could press escape now and quit mame or i can press tab to bring up mame's internal menu so i'm just going to escape and wait for macos to boot first <coughs> So this shouldn't take much longer and here we go so this is what i did before in main these are the files that i've copied on here beforehand um i'm so when the the hate so so again <laughs> the chd file that we copied that was the hard drive image any changes that we make are saved to a different file in a folder called diff and i'll show you that in a minute but in the but for now, I'll show you how you can add a disk or drive to our macOS, our version of macOS. So if we go down to File Manager, so to get to that menu, I press Tab. And again, if you can't see that, press Scroll Lock first. Then we go down to File Manager, and I'm going to add a floppy image. So I downloaded that Stuff Expand DSK file, the K for diskette. Um, I'm going to choose that. I'm going to say Read Only, and we should hear it read the disk and then i can obviously double click that to install stuff expander but as you can see i've already done that and it is very slow so i wouldn't i don't want to bore you with that so i'm going to eject that disk by chucking it in the trash you don't have to do that but that's just how you eject disks and then i'm going to go down to file manager and cd-rom and i also downloaded this is my downloads folder i downloaded a zip cdr file so i expanded the zip in windows that gave me this folder inside that folder there is a cdr file or dot cdr i'm going to pick that and press escape again and as you can see we've now got a cd image mounted so i could and i already have done i could copy that folder from this disk and copy it to my hard drive and the file is then installed on that hard drive um so that's quite easy but most of the files on uh, macintosh garden and some of your files might be in a different format um just to add if you have an original mac that will probably use hfs or hfs plus file system and it's very incompatible with anything else so if you want to transfer a file to your virtual mac if you like in mame you're going to need to compress it either with zip or with stuff it there's a program called drop stuff um, which is part of stuff at deluxe or it might have been i think it was individual as well and you can compress your files put it onto an iso image which we'll come to now and then copy those files onto your virtual mac so i'm going to shut this down which i recommend you do don't just uh, quit because otherwise your mac won't be happy so now it's safe so i can press escape and i'll quit out of this okay so what i was saying before there is a sl folder that's where our hard drive image is of macos but the changes to macos are actually saved in this folder called diff and this file contains anything that's different from that image so i'm going to drag that out so effectively deleting it 
So the next time we boot macOS, it will be as if it was from that original state, if you like, of the hard drive. So I'm going to jump to Macintosh Garden. And there are some other tools there that I'll mention in a minute. But if I just create a, a new tab and I will search for, for uh, links, for example, because that's what I just had on the screen there. So here's Lynx Pro. And on this particular site, there are all sorts of different formats here. We've got a .zip. It's a very, really good site, and there's even uh, descriptions of what these files are. But this first file is a .zip, so you'll need a program that works in macOS that can expand that zip, or in the case that I did earlier, I just expanded that in Windows, because inside that is the CDR file that MAME would mount. Some of these other files are in different formats. So this is, and it says down here, disk two is, but it's actually the installer on that. So I downloaded the .sit archive. And so I need to use Stuff Expander to expand that. And there may be some other weird formats, which I might as well cover quickly. So disk copy would normally come with MacOS, but I don't think it was included in um, that hard drive image. So here, there's quite a lot of versions here. There's a .bin, there's a .sit, and again, if we've got Stuff Expander, we can use that. Some of these are .img. It gets quite complicated here, and I won't go into all the detail, but I'll cover it just very briefly. So there's a program called Shrinkwrap. This often works with any .img files that don't work with disk copy. So disk copy would have come with MacOS. Shrinkwrap was a commercial product. Obviously, I'm not going to show you how to install that. Um, you also might find some disk images that are using toast and they might end in dot toast and obviously you're going to need toast deluxe to get that working as well and there are a few other kind of variations on that like some files just won't mount because someone might have used a newer version of macOS to create the img file so therefore try a different file and there's a quite a lot of trial and error with some of these files here I think you can contribute on this site I think I might have done it a few times and the sort of owner will might update the description of those files, for instance, if you say it doesn't work, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, right, so I have a .zip file there. So I'm going to open ImageBurn and I'm going to uh, create an image file from Files and Folders. I'm just going to go to Options, and I've put that on all three, it's like as many formats to make it compatible, but I think it's ISO 9660 is the one that uh, MacOS reads from, or it prefers. Either way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to copy uh, that zip file in there, and I'm going to burn it as an ISO file. I'm going to call it Mac for now, or something like that, and I'll put that in my Downloads folder. I'll just rename that to Mac just to make, oops to make life a bit easier and I'm going to say yes that's then going to burn that should take a second okay nice little jingle there so now I have this ISO file now to make it easier to open it in MAME I'm just going to drag it into MAME's folder there so now I'm going to load MAME and I'm going to go down to the quarter 800 again going to type 755 to go to load system 755 now this time I boot it because I moved that diff file out this will be as if it was a, a fresh install okay it shouldn't take too long to boot now as you can see it can get quite complicated but if you love macOS and you like to get this stuff working you're obviously going to need a bit of patience because this is an old system from a long time ago <laughs> things were very slow back then it's still impressive that it can work MAME is incredible really there are other Mac emulators and I might cover those in another video but um, MAME's actually pretty accurate compared to um, Basilisk has some issues with some games and there is another one called v Mini VMAC, which is good, but it's quite underpowered. Anyway, so as you can see, we're back to a fresh kind of empty install here. So I'm going to press scroll lock and tab and go down to file manager. And I'm going to add a CD drive. 
now it wants to know the location of where that file is which normally would default to mames directory but i forgot that i was messing about earlier so i'm going to have to navigate to to mame again so <laughs> let's go in there so i had it on my desktop so in mames folder and then i called it mac and you can see it there mac iso now you might see an error but you can ignore that because I think one of those formats, Joliet or um, whatever the other one was, isn't recognized. But this is that Mac ISO we created. And in it is our SIT archive. So I can drag that onto my desktop, which I won't do because it takes ages. But you can do that. <laughs> and then obviously, if we'd installed Stuff Expander earlier, we could then expand this SIT archive on our Mac hard drive. Which, if I escape now, so I'm going to shut this down wait for the little screen and I can escape out of that now I don't I haven't messed about with these diff files too much but what I can show you is I can delete the changes I just made and I can put back the one I already had so I'm going to open up MAME again and go back into our 755 image and then boot into this and again this quadra 800 is a pretty underpowered um macintosh fine for most you know you could work, run quark express or word or something like that but um games and stuff it wasn't really that powerful in fact most macs back then weren't really great for games marathon was a good game if you ever played that on macos Okay, this should be loaded soon. And also just to add, some of the games want the CD to be in the drive. So you you would then have to add that as a virtual machine mounted disk, if you like. So you'd go into File Manager and you would mount your CD-ROM and then play your game. But obviously I have, I've been through this, I've installed stuff it. I also installed Lynx Pro. I didn't just copy it off that other version. I ran the installer just to make sure it ran okay. So let's run a little bit of Lynx. I'll show you how fast it runs. And it's it's okay. So here we go. New game. You might have to click on uh, Golfer there and click Add if you've never played this before. That will do. Now, Lynx at the time was pretty demanding anyway. I think I must have set it to preload the course the last time. Anyway, you get the idea. It's <laughs> It runs really well. Obviously, we are using our actual keyboard at the minute. And if you find the game has a shortcut that uses the keyboard and it's not working, just press scroll lock to disable your UI controls and go back to the original uh, controls. So by ticking preloading, obviously this is taking ages, but the preloading should help the game run a bit faster. You can change that in the preferences, but that's you know, a game by game basis. Anyway, I'll show you a few minutes of this and I think that should hopefully be enough to get you on the way to playing some games. Oh, great. <laughs> I forgot it had to redraw all of this. Anyway, this version of Lynx is pretty good. Where is my mouse? I think I've discovered a bug. I'll just wait for this to load. So what I did, oh no, here we go, it's there, it's fine. So in here you can change the caddy to Bobcat. Um, I've forgotten his surname. He was in Police Academy. He's the man that did the, he's the crazy guy. Anyway, let's have a go at this. exciting game <laughs> there you go that's it hopefully this was useful to you if it was please give me a thumbs up if you'd like to subscribe please do that thanks for watching